Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Child of the 80s Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by me. Hmm. And this project is all about the 80s. So for this project, we have eight prompts that we are working on at one time. And the, the project is a roulette style project. So we start with eight. If you finish one item, you roll it out and you randomly select a new prompt, which as I mentioned is an 80s themed prompt. I will leave all the information for the project down in the description box. I am able to roll out three items this month, which means we get to roll three new prompts, which is super exciting. Okay, so let me share with you what I'm able to roll out and the prompts that they related to. I need to grab my phone. So the first prompt that I'm able to roll an item out for was Simon Says, and that was your choice. So for that, I chose the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. So it is this item here. So I did finish this, and I finished this, what, like a couple of days ago? So like right at the end of July. And I really did, I mean, I do like this product a lot. I like using this as just like a base prior to applying foundation after I've put on primer. So I really did enjoy this quite a bit. I used it all up. It was 20 mils, so there was quite a bit of product in here. But it's all done. Yay. And the next prompt that I have an item I can roll out for is just say no. Just say no. Something you don't like or that you hate. So for that, I went digging into my little area where I have items that are like close to being finished and I pulled this out. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. So I had been really close, I was really close to finishing this when I rolled this into this project and I, I don't really like it. I should say this, I didn't in the past really like it. I didn't mind it like as I was using it recently and I know it was because it's the summer. My skin is not as dry right now. And so using this was not atrocious. <laughs> I didn't hate it, hate it. If I use this in the winter, mm -mm, my skin does not like this. And I don't even know if they make this anymore because Makeup Forever has come like completely rebranded their line. I, they may have a primer that's similar, but they don't know, I don't know if they make this exact one, but this was decent, you know, it wasn't terrible. I didn't hate, hate it. I'm using a Peter Thomas Roth primer that's also a, a supposedly a mattifying primer that's more hydrating than this one is so I would perf I would use that one over something like this in the summertime but I still like my hydrating primers like I don't need a mattifying primer to be honest my skin is not it does not get oily enough at all in the summer for me to justify the need of something like this so anyway but it's all done out of my collection Woo, done. I'm so glad to have that in my collection. The last item I'm able to roll out, the prompt for this was shoulder pads, a product that amplifies, could be like a mascara, a glitter, a highlighter, etc. So I had rolled in this eyeshadow by Misha, and this was like their glitter prism eyeshadow, and I think it's in red beam prism. So here is what this eyeshadow looks like. And let me grab a tacky base because in order to see this shadow shine, it needs to go over tacky base. It, I mean, you can kind of see what it looks like over a regular skin, but you can't see it shine unless it's over a tacky base. So here is the shade. Uh huh. Oh, this was just so much fun to play with. I really had fun with this. Really had fun with this. Just look at that foils. Mm. And you, I don't know if you guys can tell, I had a nice, I have a nice dip going in this. I mean, I went crazy with this. My goal was to use this 10 times and I used it just those 10 times, but there's a nice dip going in here. So anyway, 
I really, really enjoyed using this. I'm not usually a red toned like shadow rare, but as you can see, it's got like this gold shift. It's just glorious. It's a beautiful shadow. So anyway, rolling that one out, which is super exciting. So that means I still have five items I am working on. So let me share with you what those are. Okay, so the first item I'm going to share with you, the prompt for this was Princess Bride, an item that you love. And for that, I chose the NYX Pinup Pout Lipstick in Almost Famous. So it is this lipstick here. It is what I am wearing on my lips today. And this is just a really beautiful, beautiful shade. I just, pinky nude, love it. It's just uh, more of a pink leaning nude, but it's so pretty, so pretty, love it. And I, my goal for this was to use a quarter of the bullet. I am really close. I'm hoping to have this rolled out by the next update. I will throw a picture over here, but yes, I'm super close, super, super close. So very excited about that because when I rolled this in, I had barely used this at all. I think I had only used it like once in my 365 days of lippies and I loved it so much. I was like, I need to use this. So I'm so excited and so happy that I've been getting some use on that. Okay, next item, the prompt for this was the Smurfs, something blue or with blue packaging. And for that, I rolled in the Tarte H2O Gloss in Salt Life. This is so beautiful. I, I recently tried a lippy, and this is a bit of a spoiler, but I recently today tried a lippy that's in my 365 Days of Lippies that I have to come to terms with it needs to be decluttered like it's gone off and I love the color so much and I realized I was like do I have a dupe for this and this salt this, the shade salt life not necessarily the gloss but just the shade salt life is a perfect dupe for that lippy. So the next item, is, the prompt for this was living on a prayer, an item that is almost done close to being decluttered or close to being decluttered. And for that, I brought in the Buxom full on lip polish in sugar. So it is this item here. So I don't know where my, I think my, my line on this like disappeared, but anyway, I, have I've been using this and I used it a bunch like a week last week when I was running errands and I went to a doctor's appointment so I have made progress on this I honestly don't remember where my line is I, I couldn't tell you because if I had one it's disappeared but I I don't have that much left as you can see I mean there's a these still these still take me some time to go through like I I like these products a lot they are the tingling part of them like I can only I can only use these in the summer I can't use these in the winter like they're too cold for me in the winter time but there is sugar I think I prefer the ones that aren't so metallic like this is a little bit metallic I prefer the ones that aren't super metallic and this one's a little bit metallic this is pretty over another shade but by itself, it's a little bit like ooh, metallic. But anyway, it's pretty. And I don't have a ton left, as you can see. So I do, I want to work this out soon. Hopefully I can get it done sooner rather than later. So the next item I have is, the prompt for this was Like a Virgin. A product that you've never tried before. And so for that, I brought in the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Loose Setting and Mattifying P Powder. So it is this powder here and there's the top. And I, my goal for this was to use this 10 times. I've only used this five, at least that's what I have marked. I'm fairly confident I've used it more than five times, but we'll just keep it at five. I think I forgot to add this to the my book for like a week or so and I also haven't been setting my face as much 
I've really only been setting like the very perimeter of my face, but I still use this to do that. So I still feel like I've used this more than five, but you know, we'll, we'll keep it in here. I love this. It's really nice. At least, you know, for what the purposes that I've been using this, I have really enjoyed it. I haven't used it to set my entire face or anything like that, but for the purposes that I have been using it, it's worked really well. And you know, I, I do the perimeter just so that my bronzer and, and blush will blend well. I've noticed that whenever I don't do that, when I don't set the perimeter, my bronzer does not blend. So you can see like little pocket marks on my skin where my pores are. And I'm like, mm -mm, no, so that's why I set the perimeter of my face. But anyway, so I have five more uses on this to go. And I've got powder everywhere. I diffused my hair today because it needs to be cut. And so I'm trying to give it some like oomph down here at the bottom so it doesn't look so like mullet looking. <laughs> so it's crazy. So the last item that I have, the prompt for this was, we're gonna pump you up. And <laughs> The product that I chose for that is the Kate Somerville, the prompt, you bring in a product that has a pump. So the product I brought in was the Kate Somerville Retinol Vita C Power Serum. And I, this is, oh, you can see where I am right now. So this, I brought this in because these are, this retinol serums are some things that I forget to use and like I forgot to use it last night. And so I bring these in so that I remind myself to use them. Doesn't always work, but I am there. So it'll, it's still in use. Not done with this yet. So we have three new prompts to roll in. Now I have, 14 prompts that I am still working on and I have taken all the prompts that I have either completed or that I am currently working on so that lets me just randomize 14. So I'm going to screen record this as I have been doing the last few times and we are going to go to the pretty random app and we're going to get our new prompts. So I'm gonna start randomize, we're gonna do one. So my first one is 11, and then we have six. Okay, so prompt 11 is Valley Girl, something shiny or glossy. And then prompt six is The Terminator, a product that won't quit. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> I'll be back. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Tubular. <laughs> I'm looking at these, like, typical Valley Girl quotes. Totally rad. Gag me with a spoon. <laughs> love the 80s they're so hysterical gag me with a spoon like why did we say that why like I'm so sure <laughs> why did we say stuff like that take a chill pill grody to the max <laughs> we said stuff like that oh my gosh and I know if you grew up in the 80s you said it because we all did. Even if we were joking, we said stuff like that. <laughs> Bag your face. <laughs> oh, doy. Mm hmm. What's your damage? <laughs> Ooh, Heather's is a great one. Great, like. Oh, I need to add that one in for next year. Heather's. Mm. Was that 80s or 90s? When was Heather's made? Yeah, when was Heather's made, Ziggy? 89. It's right on the cusp. But that's a good one. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to figure out the products I'm going to be rolling in for these two amazing prompts, and I will be right back. Siki decided to join us. Oh, you look so sleepy. Oh. I may have moved my camera as I was getting into a certain drawer. I moved my setup. I have my products, I'm so excited. So for the prompt, Valley Girl, something shiny or glossy, I am going with this totally tubular lip product, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Mary Martini. So it is this lip product here, and I actually got this during the holidays. I have a few more of these coming into my collection in the month of July in my Not A Low Buy update that I'll be doing because Ulta had these half off during their like national lipstick week of like half off products. These are amazing. So anyway, here's the product. And here is the shade. And they, I think these were all, like the trio that I got was a trio of limited edition shades. So that is totally shiny and glossy. Yep. So I want to use this 10 times. Very excited about this. I love those. And then for the Terminator, a product that won't quit. I'm like, blushes never quit. Like I can never hit pan in a blush. They, I have never finished a blush. Well, I used to way back whenever I only had like two in my collection a long time ago. So I decided to roll in a blush and I'm gonna pull in this Laura Geller blush, baked blush in the shade Fruit Punch. And here is the shade here. I love these baked blushes. They're so good. They're so like, they're so, they're so like, uh, they're so like shiny. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, they have this sheen to them. Whenever you apply them to your cheeks, they're just so nice. So anyway, I want to, again, use this one 10 times. I mean, they're so pigmented. Look at that. And I have plenty of blushes I'm working on, but whatever. 10 times we're going to use this. So those are the two items I am rolling in to this project. I'm an idiot. I was supposed to pick three items. I'm just going to pick randomly on my phone. Here, I'll just show you. This was the... Well, apparently I did pick one and it's five. So we'll just go with five. And the prompt for that is, wow, dirty, dirty dancing, a baby or mini product. Nobody puts baby in the corner. You know, that was like Patrick Swayze hated that line. He hated that line. He thought it was the cheesiest line in the movie. And then, of course, it became the most iconic line. It is cheesy. It's cheesy as I'll get out. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Oh, he was so hot in that movie. Jesus. Oh. Mm. Oh. When his back muscles are like... Oh. Okay. So now I need to pick a baby or a mini product. How do I pick? Okay. So I'm debating. Should I bring in a lip mask? Let's bite beauty lip mask. Or should I bring in this little baby tart and set sail? This little baby mini set sail, which I have like that much left in. I have a lot of lip products I'm working on, like colored lip products. But if I like wear this once a day, I could finish this in no time. And I have other 
like clear lip moisturizers I'm working on. So this will get, I'm going to do this. I can just put this on once a day at night and hopefully I can finish this pretty quickly and get it out of my collection. So yes, I'm rolling in for Dirty Dancing for Mr. Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey and Baby. I'm rolling in Set Sail by Tarte, this little baby mini. And I'm going to roll this sucker out of my collection because <laughs> you guys know I have a lot of love products. So this needs to go. I want to finish this. Okay, that's my third item. <sighs> okay, so I'll just add that into the footage. <laughs> How is your Child of the Ages project going? Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I giggle every time I get a new prompt. <laughs> so anyway, that is my update for today. Hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Okay, so the first prompt that I had that I have a project no. Okay, we're just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> what else is a... I think I just broke a nail. this in. None of these are many. Ziggy! Zigster! <laughs> Too cute. Too cute for words. Hey. Bye.